Hi and welcome back to the Dr. O'Donovan Medicine Made Easy YouTube channel where today we're going to be looking at cafe au lait spots. Now in this video we're going to cover two main things. First of all we'll look at what cafe au lait spots are and I'll illustrate that with some real life clinical images. And then secondly we'll look at the conditions that you might find cafe au lait spots in. Remember if you enjoyed the video please hit the like button and remember to subscribe to the channel. So here we have an example of cafe au lait spots. Cafe au lait comes from the French coffee with milk and it makes reference to the light brown colour of the spots. So here you can see an example of a cafe au lait spot. So I'm just going to draw around it with a green marker. And this is a zoomed out image, a macroscopic image on a lady's back. And we've got at least five cafe au lait spots here. So I'm just going to again outline those so they're obvious for you to see. Now cafe au lait spots are flat brown pigmented spots which come from the pigment producing cells melanocytes. So now you've had a good look at what the cafe au lait spots look like in person, let's move on and see what conditions they can be found in. So cafe au lait spots are often harmless but they can be associated with some medical conditions. One condition that they're commonly associated with is something called neurofibromatosis type 1. Now, neurofibromatosis type 1, which I'll just refer to as NFT1 from this point forward, is a genetic condition which causes tumours to grow along your nerves. Now here you can see the torso of someone with neurofibromatosis type 1, and here is a cafe au lait spot which I'm outlining here with the laser pointer, so we'll just highlight that in red outline. You can also have dermal neurofibromas. Now these are located all along the skin surface and I'm just highlighting a few of them in green here. Now neurofibromatosis type 1, cafe au lait spots form part of the diagnostic criteria where you need at least six cafe au lait spots. In individuals who are prepubertal, they should be at least five millimeters in diameter. And individuals who are post-pubertal, they should be at least 15 millimetres in diameter. Now, cafe au lait spots are not just caused by neurofibromatosis type 1. They can also be associated with a number of other conditions. These other conditions include hypothyroidism, Pertz-Jäger syndrome, Fanconi anemia, Russell-Silverman syndrome, and finally, McCoon Albright syndrome. There are a range of other conditions that you can find cafe au lait spots in. I've only mentioned six here, but if you'd like to mention a few more, please feel free to leave them in the comment section beneath this video. Thanks for watching the video. If you enjoyed it, please remember to hit the like button. And if you have any comments or questions, please write them in the comment section below and I'll get back to you as soon as possible.